What's up, what's up, people? It's your boy Westcott, aka the director. And we're back with you again for another trailer reaction. This will be to the second trailer, official trailer, probably the last trailer of The Flash coming this summer and from Warner Brothers in DC, of course. I reacted to the first trailer, so I'll put the description, I'll put the link in the description. You can check it out. But this one, you know, I'm anxious to see what new things they might have put in here. Hopefully they didn't spoil too much of it, but, you know, that's DC. Warner Brothers kind of does that because they really feel like they're behind the eight ball when it comes to these superhero movies. So they try to put a little something to bring you out. I'm going regardless, so it doesn't matter. But I'm hearing good things about the film. So let's check out the trailer with no further ado. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, the IE Network. Check out my show, Real Talk, each and every Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on the IE Network. So let's check it out with no further ado. Bring it up. Trail is up. And here we go. I lost my parents. That pain made me who I am. I spent a lifetime trying to right the wrongs of the past, as if fighting crime would bring my parents back. Mm. You actually did it. I can't imagine what you've been through. I love you, Mikey. <laughs> You lost both parents in one day. Barry! Call the one now! I went back in time to save my parents. But instead, I completely broke the universe. Last night, you went back and changed the past. This world must die. You changed the future. Do you know what this symbol stands for? Oh. Means hope, right? I will hope you fight not. You want to get nuts? <laughs> Let's get nuts. Ooh, baby. I have to undo what I did. Big scars we have. Make us who we are. Yeah, and I'm meant to go back and fix them. Yeah. Don't let your tragedy define you. What did you do? Ooh. Nice. No matter what we do, we're not going to be able to fix this. No. Nobody dies. Ooh. Ooh. You're strapped to your parachutes. Hey, where's yours? Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Oh man, that was pretty dope. That was pretty dope. That was pretty dope. So it looks like just real quick thoughts, and I might even do a breakdown on this trailer a little later. Quick thoughts. It looks like uh, I guess Zod is gonna kind of be the villain of this movie, which is real odd pick because I thought they were like trying to do away with the Snyderverse. Not that I want them to. I love Zack Snyder. But it's like, that's a Snyder villain. Handpicked. So they're using Zod as the villain. This is kind of like a... Uh, kind of like a Flashpoint, but not really. They're taking some elements from Flashpoint storyline. And for all of you that are non-comic readers, um, fear not. You can go right on HBO+. Plus. 
type in Justice League, the Flashpoint Paradox, and you'll see what I'm talking about when I say Flashpoint. So you watch that movie. It's an animated movie. It talks about the storyline of Flashpoint from the comics where Barry goes back, tries to save his his, uh, mother from being killed, and he pretty much makes a completely alternate world and universe where there's no Superman. There's uh, the other the other villain, you know, heroes and stuff are there, but like Aquaman, you know, the, the Atlanteans are warring with the with the Amazons. Aquaman is at war against, you know, uh Wonder Woman. Bruce Wayne uh is not Bruce Wayne, it's Thomas Wayne. Bruce is dead. So it like all the, in that alternate universe, Bruce was killed in the in the uh alleyway and Thomas lived and he became this really brutal Batman who just used guns and like he didn't care. He was really like a vigilante Batman. Um it's just a lot of stuff going to check it out. Justice League the Flashpoint Paradox. Now that's not this movie. I'm just trying to give y'all a little bit of insight so you can go check, you know, say what we're talking about. But this is little elements you'll see. It's taken from this. Flash goes back Try to save his mother, and in the process, he basically, like he said, broke the universe. He changed everything up. So, in in the Flashpoint paradox, or in Flashpoint, Superman, miss you know Clark as a baby misses. He does not land in Kansas. He lands in like Metropolis. Government gets to him. Exactly what Zack Snyder's Superman Man of Steel was trying to avoid. The government got him and tried to make him a weapon and he never became the farm boy from kansas he was a little scrawny kid in a lab so um it looks like they kind of replaced that with kara so kara who also obviously landed on the planet so it looks like they had her from the first trailer you saw she they had her captured somewhere so that's where the replacement is um Obviously, you have a little bit of Batfleck, Ben Affleck's uh, Batman, which allegedly this is the last time. Oh, man. This is the last time we will see Ben Affleck as Batman. Allegedly. Who knows? Maybe Zach could talk of the comeback if they sell off the Snyderverse. This is all speculation by us Snyder fans that we want. But, you know, I accept the inevitable, whatever is going forward. But this film... So it looks like Kara is going to be in a place of that. So she would know Zod. So it makes sense. She would know Zod, you know, from that planet. Because remember, Kara was not a baby when she was sent here. At least that's her normal. That's the normal story of her. So unless they change it, she wasn't a baby. Probably just she was just like young. So she probably might know who Zod is or, you know, so or maybe have heard of him, you know, because he was the guy on Krypton. So I'm assuming they're going with Zack Snyder's Zod, then they're going to go with Zod's story, but it's just different because Kal-El is not here. It's Kara. So um, we'll see about that. Uh, I did I did not see other elements in there that I thought I might see, but it looks really good. Uh, some of the uh, effects look pretty good. I can't wait, man. I'm going to check this out. I'm going to the movies. I haven't been in the movies that much. Go to the movies, check it out, and then, you know, I'll definitely get But I'm going to break this trailer down, get a little bit more in-depth in with it, and I'm going to come back and talk some ish about it. So uh, come back. Stay tuned. Until then, put a comment below. Let me know what you think about the trailer. Was it dope? Was it garbage? Was it terrible? Was it great? Was it, you know, fascinating? Was it meh? What do you think? Like and subscribe. Don't forget to the channel. Like and subscribe to the IE Network. Don't forget that. And check out Real Talk every Monday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, right here on the IE Network. Your boy, Wes Clark, a.k.a. the director, back at you. Peace.